Welcome to Wise Owl Paint Party. Today I'm really excited to share something brand new to Wise Owl, a sprayer. Yes, we have our very own Apollo made, engineered for our finishes sprayer. And what's even gonna be more fun for me, for you, is that I've never sprayed before. It's always been just me and a brush. So this is gonna be a new series of videos to share how amazing it is to spray because I know it's amazing. I've seen other people do it, but I've never tried. And now that we have our brand new sprayer in, I'm going to show you our brand new sprayer and the videos that are going to be upcoming are going to be how to spray, how to clean your spray gun, how to use it with the different, you know, OHE or CSP or all the different things that we have moving forward from a beginner's perspective. I thought that would be fun because you can always get an expert's view and we actually have an amazing in-house expert on uh, spraying. But from my perspective, it might be the same as yours. Like a week ago, I was kind of scared to even try it. But today I feel a little bit more confident and I really wanted to just put it on video, share it out to the world and hopefully let you guys walk through this with me and maybe try it yourself. So if this is something you're looking forward to, stay tuned today on Wise Owl Paint Party. All right, so as you can see, I already have the box all open. I Pulled the top off because it has a list of everything on here because even the nomenclature for some of this stuff is very, very new to me. I've done a little bit of research. I've watched a lot of videos of other different kinds of sprayers. I've watched videos on our in-house expert who's been sharing a little bit of how to use this particular sprayer. But again, this is from a beginner's perspective. Someone who's never sprayed before, to show you that it, it can be done and not to be scared of it. And I'm not gonna lie, I'm, I'm a little scared to start because it's something, it's brand new, it's something I've never done and I've been painting with a brush this whole time. But I'm really excited because what I've seen from our expert and what I've seen from other folks, even here locally, there's a, one of our retailers, that's all they do is spray and the output they've been able to do with OAG has been amazing. So it's just kind of taken me some time to get to that point where I wanted to give it a try and maybe some of you are just the same way. So whether you're buying a expensive $1,000, $1,500, $2,000, whatever those crazy super high-end sprayers are, or if you're buying a $150 one from Home Depot, or you've decided to purchase one of our Stingray sprayers, we're going to walk through some of these things in the, in the next few videos on how to use our products to spray and maybe take a little break from your break, your wrists being hurt. Because I know I'm getting a little older and brushing sometimes can be, you know, hard. So with all that being said, we've got the box. I've already spliced it open. So first things first, when you're unboxing it, you're going to have instructions. It's going to say right down there, why is all turbine instruction manual? So this is a HVLP and I'd love to be able to tell you, I know what that means, but the long and the short of it is there's two different kinds of sprayers. One has a air compressor to push the air through and one is a turbine and this is a turbine. So you will not need the big bulky air compressor thing. You'll only need what's in this box plus your paint and that's it. And that's, uh, well, what to me is probably the the better way to go as far as I'm concerned from what I research I've done and what I've looked into is to get a HVLP sprayer just because it's pretty portable it's pretty compact you don't need external stuff and from what I'm I've seen anyway with our products an HVLP sprayer will get you some really amazing results so that's what kind of sprayer this is this is what you're going to get so you're going to get the manual and then you can get a cleaning kit. We have that on the website as well. Um, I've never used one before, never used a sprayer, but from what I've read, from what I've seen, a cleaning kit is very important because you want to ensure you take really good care of your spray gun, no matter what kind you get, no matter how much you spend, 
you want to make sure you take really good care of it. So get the cleaning kit, have that on hand for you to be able to clean, especially with water-based products. All of ours are, you know, obviously environmentally friendly, water-based, clean, green products, which will make it very easy to clean as long as you do it right away. Like OHE, stuff like that, it's gonna dry hard and be a little bit of a pain to clean. Once it dries, you know, it's a whole nother, whole nother story, but as long as you're cleaning it while it's still wet and just washing out, you'll be fine. So we have some other little trinkets in here. I haven't even opened this, but I just opened the box up Okay, so we have, this is, and I'm gonna look at my list to make sure I'm telling you the right names. This is a viscosity meter. And what I understand about this is the thickness of your paint needs to be so much so where you pour it in this little cup and it'll come out and it'll empty out of this thing in a certain specific amount of time. And that's how you'll know you have the right, um, it's thin enough or thick enough to go through your sprayer. And just so you know, you can use all of our products. CSP does need to be thin, and we'll get into that more into future videos on the specifics, especially after I actually have a chance to do it myself. Because again, it's gonna be from my perspective, beginner's perspective, so I wanna be able to not only give you the specific percentages of thinning and all that kind of stuff, but actually show you from my perspective, how that has gone, how that is. Because I could tell you what other people have told me, but I'd rather actually show you and tell you how I did it. So this comes with, or this is something you can get with it. And then another little cool thing, this is called a blow off, turbine blow off. And basically what this means is you can take your turbine, stick this on the hose, and you can actually use it to you know, like if you sanded something and you want to blow off all the dust, you can actually use your turbine and not as a sprayer, but as a blower. So you just, you know, if you got to clean up some sanding that you've done or anything like that. This, so this is a neat little tool. Definitely something I would recommend sneaking into your purchase if you end up getting a HBLP sprayer. And then next we have the power cord and a couple of little clamps. So the clamps for this guy, make it really easy because it, it will push and hold and clamp on. So when you put the hose on, it'll push and clamp and then it won't, so it won't move, won't go anywhere. So there's a couple of those for that, your power cord. And as you can see, the power cord is the kind where it's not attached to the turbine. So you can unplug it, take the turbine, do wherever. So you don't have a, a cord dangling everywhere, which I thought was a really good, um, thing for this specific because this is a very mobile unit so having those little things just that's little things like that where you can unplug take the plugs off and i have plugs dangling everywhere so we'll get to that that's going to be the gun and then this hose look at this thing look at the size of this thing i think this is if i remember correctly it was 23 feet long i think so imagine you're spraying and you gotta get around a big dresser up over a big china cabinet or something like that. The hose that comes with this thing is, is huge. So you're not gonna have any problems sneaking around your paint booth or your garage for that matter. I don't have a paint booth yet. So it's gonna be the front end of my garage with some uh, tarps laid down more than likely. But with that, having a longer hose is gonna be amazing to be able to scoot in and around all the places I'm gonna to want to go to paint. So very long hose. So next we're gonna pull off the actual turbine itself and then I'll show you the gun here in a second. Sorry about that noise, but that's, wow, that's pretty light. Like I said, I haven't touched this. It was still in the box. I've been waiting to do this video to show you guys, you know, look at that. So that's it. I mean, it's very light. I mean, I don't know what the weight is on this thing, but but that's it. It's our Stingray sprayer. It's got a cute little Stingray on there. Made in the United States of America, which you know I love as a vet. And it's just this one little unit, right? So you plug in the hose, plug in your gun, put your paint in the cup, which will be in here, I'm sure, or I'm assuming. You don't see a cup anywhere. And then you go. 
There's no compressor, no air, no separate thing. What you see is what you'll get in this box, except for the couple of accessories I added on. And from this, you're gonna be able to do some amazing spraying. Now, again, I've never done it before. I have seen our in-house expert use the sprayer and it's been pretty cool, I'm not gonna lie. Uh, it got me very excited to try it and give my wrist a rest on painting. But this is what it's gonna look like. It has the two little filters on the sides. It's got the spot for you to connect the hose on this side and then a plug on this side. And that's all there is to it. Not a, not a whole bunch of extra stuff for you to mess with. So that is the turbine. So that's all you're gonna be, all you're gonna need. Now we get to the fun part. And this is gonna be the gun that you have with it. And it should be, yep, there it is. So this is the metal version. So we have a plastic version and a metal version of this. And I only have the metal one. So you're just gonna see what I have. Uh, the plastic one will be just that. Everything will be for the most part plastic. So the gun itself, the container, the cup itself will be plastic. So I'm still learning the terminology. So if I mess up some of this stuff, I apologize. But so you're gonna have this cup. You see, it's got the little thing that bends down in. So if you're spraying down, it's gonna shoot, get the paint out of there. So you have this cup, just like this. Goes on, twist, tighten, and then it keeps it right on there. And in future videos, I'll go through more parts of the gun as I learn <laughs> what all the names of everything is. And we'll get into cleaning and all that kind of thing. But again, this video is just a, a quick unboxing to show you what you will get with our Stingray sprayer and also kind of launch a new series of videos on spraying Wiseau paints and products because uh, it's just something I really feel like I wanted to share. I've had a lot of questions about, I know we can do it, but having videos to share how I think will inspire people, which is the whole, one of the, my big models here is create, share, inspire. So I want to create some really awesome content, share it, and hopefully inspire you to try. So if you've ever been thinking about spraying, especially our Wise All Paint products, I know that get some really amazing results, especially that OHE. You know, these this video series is going to be for you right from the very beginning, showing off what we have for you. So this sprayer was built and engineered in conjunction with Apollo, one of the best HVLP sprayers that there are, and it's a USA based company. And the long and the short of it is we sent them all of our products. We said we'd like our own sprayer exclusive to Wiseau that is specifically made to spray our products. So that's what this is gonna be. It's gonna be a very uh, specifically made for our products. Does that mean you have to have this sprayer? No, and that's what I wanted to say out front. If you're, you know, wanting a more high-end sprayer, there's some that are a lot more expensive than this one. If you're want, if you're a beginner, beginner, and you're just wanting to start out and try it and see how it goes for you, you can get one cheaper at, at Home Depot or Walmart, or not Walmart, but um, Lowe's or any of those places like that. So you go the the a cheaper route and just, but you can still get an HBLP. So it just depends on where you're at in your painting journey. This would be a little bit of an investment, but to me, from what I've seen of the results from Apollo and friends in the biz that have an Apollo sprayer, it's been amazing, especially painting our products. So with that being said, this is where I'm gonna start. And I'm gonna share from, again, beginner's perspective on how to use this thing. So this is what you're gonna get. You're gonna get the turbine, the gun, a cup, Inside the box, we have a little sealant thing, a little wrench. Then you're going to get your power, which again, you can plug and unplug so you can carry this around and not have a cord dangling from it or have to worry about it getting pulled or tugged on by accident and they're breaking. You get this super, super long hose. And from what I've heard, this is kind of a big deal because you wanna be able to maneuver around big projects and not have that be an issue. And again, blow off tool so you can plug this into your hose, blow off duster, 
anything that you've been sanding. Viscosity cup, if I remember that right. And this is again, to measure, to ensure what you're putting in your cup is the right thickness or, or thinner, thick or thin, depending on how it needs to be. Then a cleaning kit, which is another extra you can add on, but definitely something important. And again, I'll go through the specifics on how to clean once I actually clean it. And I know how to do it enough to teach you guys. Again, beginner's perspective. And then we have your, our own instruction manual about this specific turbine, this specific sprayer, the gun, the parts, all the things that you'll get with it that'll help you if you're like me and you're starting out. So that's what you're gonna get. Uh, again, just wanted to share probably more of my excitement, but also just start the series off. So if you're interested in getting our Stingray sprayer, that is made by Apollo, engineered specifically for our finishes, you can check that out on our website and let me know if you have any questions in the comments of this video. Please let me know what you might want to know about spring moving forward. And that's it. I just, I'm, I'm excited, want to do an unboxing, share this new product with you guys as I like to do. Anytime we get new stuff in the house, I want to share it, but also just share this new journey that I'm going to be on. And I'm really looking forward to it and showing you guys everything that you can do with spraying Wise All Paint products. I hope everybody has a blessed day and as always, happy painting.